We're now ready to connect the plumbing fixtures in our Revit MEP project with sanitary piping. We'll be adding horizontal and vertical pipe that will make up the outgoing sanitary pipe for our restrooms. Let's open the Level 1 floor plan in the plumbing section of the browser and zoom into the restrooms. Let's similarly zoom into the fixtures in the 3D view and orient them to look at the connection sides. Use the WT shortcut to tile the views. Notice again the wet wall where we will be locating the vertical riser pipe for the sanitary system. Now open the pipe tool in the home tab. Let's choose a 4 inch diameter in the option bar. To place a vertical riser, we first set the offset for the lower point of the pipe at 5 feet from level 1 and click apply. The properties palette confirms the reference level, which currently is level 1. Now click in the 3D view to set the approximate desired location of the pipe. And return to the offset, now setting it to 45 feet and click apply. Now the vertical pipe appears between those two elevations. Use escape to cancel out of the pipe tool. Now we can select the pipe so that it appears in the level 1 plan view. Let's change the detail level to fine so that we view the accurate diameter of this pipe which we will now place right within the wet wall. From the Modify tab, use the Move tool. First click on the center point of the pipe and then again on the new desired location at the center of the wet wall. And there it is, centered within the wet wall. The next step is to place the horizontal branch pipe into which all the sanitary fixtures will drain before connecting to the vertical riser. Again, open the pipe tool and this time we'll set the offset as negative one foot from level one. All sanitary pipes slope, so we will apply a half inch over twelve inch slope and choose this to be negative to indicate a downward slope from the starting point. From the level 1 floor plan, begin drawing the pipe by clicking in the center of the south end of the wet wall and dragging the pipe to a small distance before the vertical riser. Click a second time to finish drawing the pipe. We'll need to adjust the view settings in order to see this pipe which is now underneath the floor. Navigate to the view range in the properties palette and click edit. Let's change the view depth to reach the level below and click OK. Now the horizontal pipe appears. When we select the pipe, we'll see grips indicated by the blue crosses. We can extend or shorten the pipe by dragging these grips. Let's return to the 3D view where we can view the results of our new horizontal branch pipe which slopes downward toward the vertical riser. Next, we will join these two pipes and then connect each level 1 plumbing fixture into the horizontal branch pipe. Let's start by preparing our 3D view using VG visibility graphics to turn off the linked model. Use the ZR zoom shortcut and drag select the region of the horizontal branch. Select the horizontal branch pipe so that it's highlighted and showing its grips. When your mouse is over the left grip, Press the left mouse button and drag the mouse while holding down the shift key until the cursor is hovering over the vertical riser and it is highlighted. Now release the mouse button and we will see how Revit MEP automatically generates the T-fittings necessary to join those pipes. Let's view it with the shaded with edges visual style. Finally, we are ready to connect each fixture into the branch pipe. We'll do this by selecting each fixture individually and then choosing the Connect Into tool from the Layout menu of the Modify Plumbing Fixtures tab. A dialog appears asking us to choose which connector of the fixture to tie into. We will choose the sanitary connector. Click OK. And finally, select the branch pipe to indicate the tie-in location. Revit auto writes pipe and fittings to make that connection. We can continue one by one through the fixtures until we are finished. Since all these fixtures are being connected by their sanitary connector, Revit is recognizing that this pipe system is a sanitary type system, and therefore using the green color display filter associated with a sanitary system.
Lastly, we can assign all the plumbing fixtures to a system. Do a drag select of all the fixtures and filter out the pipes and pipe fittings. We use the Create System tool and select Sanitary in order to define a sanitary system. Switch to the View tab, then open the User Interface drop-down to turn on the System Browser view. This will activate this new view window at the bottom of the drawing space. Let's expand the piping section and the Sanitary System 1 and we'll see all the fixtures in this newly defined system.